Okay, here is the case. I have it standing up vertically. This is how the case would normally be if you were going to be using it. Like I was saying, the uh, power buttons are here on what would be the right side of the case. You can go around this side. There's a ventilation. You can see some of the wires in there inside. Go around the back. You can see I got the dual gigabit installed and the single gigabit there. Get the I.O. plate in. You can see one of the Noctua fans there installed. There's that PSU cover plate I was telling you about. So now that's completely covered up. And then this right here is the power cord for the Pico PSU. It has a, it had a little cutout here for like a VGA thing. You can see I kind of had to uh, bend a little bit of the case to make the hole big enough so I could get that through, but it works. And now we can go around to this side and there's nothing on this side. Let's go ahead and tip the case over. Oh yeah, I guess I can show you this here, this front thing here. It's super easy. You just go ahead and reach under here and it just pops right off. You can see right here, here is the Noctua NFF12. This thing actually has super easy way to attach it to this case. You can see right here, if it focuses. Come on, I'm tapping on it. There you go. You can see it just has these little clip things and this just literally just popped right in there. You can see there, it popped right out. So that's how easy it is to install that front fan. Got it running out there. Let me go ahead and put that back on real quick. Let me go ahead and do the two thumb screws. Well, if you're wondering, this is one of the new Cat 7 cables that I bought. You can see I have it plugged into one of the ports already because where it's at, it actually it's really hard for me to get it out. But this one here will be the one that's going to go actually from the uh, from the PFSense box up into my current wireless access point. Then I have the other one. Because actually right over here, I already have them all installed. So you can see right here, this cord, here's another one of those exact same cords that I have go over here and it plugs right. Let's see, this goes, oh yeah, this, yep, this Cat7 cable here goes from the input that I'm using for my network switch right over here into the, uh, into port turn off the light here into port four. And then I have this other cable here, which is a 25 foot cord that goes over here. And then you can see the cord coming up here around the frame. And then it goes up there to my upstairs for my roommate. And then once it arrives tomorrow, I'm gonna have another one that's gonna go from here from the modem into the PFSense box. Here is the power cord, a power adapter for the Pico PSU, which right down here is the battery backup that I bought for it. You can see right here, I have a voltage meter hooked up that I will be using to test the voltage of the thing. You can see right now, just plugged into the Pico PSU with nothing running off it, it is using 0.7 watts. I guess that that's right. Zero kilowatts. It's getting 123.4 volts. And 0 0.018 amps. If I point six watts, I guess that that's correct. And of course, yeah, it's a, it's a 525 cyber power. Let's see, this is the network switch. Oh, sorry, no. This is the router. This is the modem. This is the network switch. for the And then this right here would be the Pico PS, or the PFSense box for the battery backup. Then over here on the surge protection, I have a cord, an extension cord that goes over this way for my humidifier. This right here is the retro adapter, which is right over here for the Super Nintendo. 
And then, of course, this cord right here is the thing that goes up here for this SCART to HDMI adapter for my Super Nintendo. So now that I kind of did a kind of a look over here, oh yeah, if you guys know who that guy is, make sure you leave a comment. But yeah, over here, back to the case. Oh yeah, I have Pizza Hut that just arrived that I will be eating once I am done. So now, back to the case. Okay, go ahead and open up the case. You can see right here, I got the wires inside of here. So you can see right there is the Pico PSU, which goes out. You can see it's got one cord that goes over here to the 8-pin. And then it's got another cord that goes over here for the hard drive. There's not really much you can do with the cords. So kind of just do a little... slow pan of the inside of the case for you so you can see right in there there's the nff12 which is an input and then right over there is the nfa9 output you can see right here there is no cpu currently in this case because it haven't has not arrived yet oh and of course yeah there's the two network cards right there But yeah, the Pico PSU, you can see. Actually, I have a spare one, so I can show you exactly what the Pico PSU. Look here, you can look at the floor a bit while I pull everything out of this bag. So yeah, here's what the Pico PSU looks like. You can see, it's just this tiny little board that pretty much has the regular PC, you know, 24-pin connector, which goes to that... DC input and then right over here it's got these uh, these bunch of little cables this one here is what plugs into this expansion port right there and you can see you get untangle it you can see you get it's, you so you have a molex connector the four pin CPU connector a SATA connector, another SATA connector, and then finally a floppy connector. So that's pretty much what that was. That was about, I believe, 20 to $25 on eBay. I believe this thing here can output 140 or 160 watts of power. So not gonna run a powerful PC, but as you can see, there is no fans. So I'm hoping with that thing, the two Noctua fans, that this PC, when you turn it on, will be dead silent. I will find out. Oh, and also, for the CPU, I have this. A Alpine M1 Passive CPU Cooler. So, the CPU will be as it says here, focus, absolutely silent. So this PF Sense box, which will be sitting right there. I'm just using a pillowcase right now. I'm planning on probably buying some uh, shelf liner. I just want it to protect the glass uh, entertainment stand that I have there. So that's the PF Sense box. Built, you can kind of get an idea how. So yeah, this case is about you know, about sixteen and three fourths inches long by about. About 14 inches tall by oh, sorry I gotta move my, I gotta 
switch, switch hands, there you go, by about, looks like, you know, I'll say a six and three fourths uh, depth. So 